Five, a father of nine adoptive children is in jail tonight. 38 year old Haim Cohen is being charged with sexual assault and continual sexual abuse of his 17 year old son. But according to court documents, the abuse also involves some of the other siblings. And Ellie Ruiz has been digging through these lengthy documents. We want to warn you, some of these information, some of the details are very disturbing. And Ellie is the first, is this the first time this man has been arrested? No, it's not. He was actually arrested back in October of 2019. We actually did a story on him a few months prior to that. He wanted to adopt more kids. And in our story right now, you'll see a video from him from back then. But we've actually blurred out some of the images to protect the, the kids involved in this story. Take a look. 38 year old Haim Cohen is facing several charges of sexual assault of a child and continuous sexual abuse of a child. His father of nine was very active on various social media sites. Video after video portrayed him in what seemed a normal life with adoptive kids. But court documents shed a different light of what was going on inside the home. According to those documents, the sexual abuse of the 17 year old started just two weeks after he was adopted back in 2016. They say this came to light after the teen called into a podcast to share about the sexual abuse. He used a burner phone and investigators were able to track him down through the IP address. And the documents go on to say the abuse happened all the time. They say Cohen would call the boys into the room every night to massage his feet. He would tell them to lay down and would caress them. He would make them touch themselves and then he would touch himself. The victim said from the age of 14 through 17, they had sexual encounters. One of the teens did run away and was returned to the home by constables. He says they were taken to be interviewed, but they all denied the abuse allegations. Their father would bribe the kids or scare them. They go on to say the teen was waiting to turn 18 so he could tell on his dad and was scared the authorities wouldn't believe him. The teen said CPS had eight investigations that led to nothing. All of this coming from the defendant saying he's in hospice care and has a terminal illness. Well, right now, CPS has custody of all of the eight kids, uh, excuse me, all of the kids, and uh, they say that they could not comment on the case. Of course, it's still an ongoing investigation for them. Anielli, we understand there's also been a lawsuit filed against the suspect. Well, that's right. There has been a lawsuit filed on him from the case from 2019, where he, there was a foreign exchange student living under his house. And of course, we'll bring you more details coming up at six. So many layers to the story. Interested to hear more. Anayeli Ruiz, thank you.